Assalamualaikum and hi. Uh, we continue our lesson. So before this, we learn about the two parts of the nervous system, which is the CNS and also the PNS. Uh, basically, both of those parts of the system is made up by neuron. So today we are going to learn about the neuron. So this is the basic structure of a neuron. So for a neuron, the basic structure is it will have uh, what we call it as the cell body which contain a nucleus and also the cytoplasm okay and then it has uh, this uh, dendrite that look like hair so the function is to connect to another neuron which means uh, there will be another neuron here that will attach their nerve ending at the dendrite so that is how the information is flowing okay from one neuron to the other neuron and then it has the uh, myelin sheath which act as insulator and also to speed up the impulse transmission so you see uh, most of the neuron is like one meter long in our body so without the myelin sheath maybe the impulse transmission might get slower so our response also might get slower so uh, one way of the thing that neuron have the adaptation is by cover some of the part of their body with the myelin sheath okay and then last but least is the nerve ending okay the nerve ending is actually like their hand okay so we have the hair here which is the dendrite and then we have the hand the hand here uh, called it as the nerve ending so the impulse will travel from the neuron here from here so don't confuse between dendrites and nerve ending dendrite receive impulse nerve ending send the impulse to the other neuron okay next uh, we are going to look at the three type of neuron that make our human nervous system so these three type of neuron uh, happen or located at same part of the body or different part of the body for example the relay neuron mostly can be found in the c and s meaning can be found in brain and spinal cord and the sensory and also the motor neuron can be found at our hand beneath our skin at our face so on and so forth okay let's look at the first neuron which is the motor neuron okay so as you can see first we look at the nerve ending so the nerve ending which is located here is attached to muscle or gland or we call it as the effector so this is actually muscle fibers so the nerve ending of the motor neuron is touching or attached at the muscle or gland okay and then what we notice next is the cell body is located at the rear or at the end the hujung okay and what is the function is it transmit the impulse the information from the cns remember cns the brain or the spinal cord to the effector so that is why the motor neuron the nerve ending is attached at the muscle because it will carry the impulse to the muscle then later on after the muscle get the impulse then the muscle will do their action uh, for example like contract or relapse next we have the sensory neuron so it is important for us to identify the three type of neuron 
so we need to look closely at the structure of the neuron so for the sensory neuron okay as we can see um, the dendrite okay the dendrite is attached to the receptor here meaning the dendrite is attached at the sensory organ like eyes skin and so on and so because it at the sensory organ have the receptor for example like our skin our skin have heat receptor have pain receptor okay then uh, the differences between sensory and motor is we look at the position of the cell body so this is the cell body of the sensory neuron as you can see the position is at the middle here if uh, the motor neuron the cell body is located here but for the sensory neuron the cell body is located at the middle so that is one of the very easy to spot differences differences between uh, motor neuron and also sensory neuron okay and the function is to transmit impulse from receptor to the cns so the motor neuron transmit impulse from cns but the sensory transmit impulse to cns okay last but not least is we have the relay neuron okay relay neuron is also the neuron that easily can be differentiated or distinguished from the other two neurons because first it does not have of have fewer myelin sheath like in the diagram here it does not have myelin sheath why because the length of the relay neuron is much more shorter compared to the motor or uh, sensory neuron so it does not need to have a lots of myelin sheath and the location is at the brain and also at the spinal cord meaning our brain is made by relay neuron our spinal cord is made by relay neuron so what is the function the function is to connect between the sensory neuron and the motor neuron so the impulse can pass us through okay so it's like the middleman the very important middleman that connect both the sensory and motor neuron if there is no relay neuron so the response can be very difficult to produce that is why it is important to make sure that our brain and our spinal cord is free from damage that's all thank you